Yeah, hey everybody. In this short series of videos, we're going to be looking at how to sell a Shopify store. Uh, in this particular video, we're going to be examining the exchange.shopify.com. This is their marketplace where you'll see lots of different stores for sale. It's really beautifully done. Uh, there are stores selling from well over 10K to stores selling well under 250 bucks there are really some great deals to be had especially if you think about the time invested in building uh, a website with populating it with content even if that content is being pulled using some kind of data feed there are still a lot of really somewhat mature when i say somewhat mature i mean three to six month shopify stores that are still residing on the dot shopify uh domains so you're actually looking at a subdomain of you know folks who haven't purchased a uh, a you know real url or if they have they've let it expire and they just have this kind of blank slate store that you can buy for let's say under 200 bucks so let's look really quickly here's one for 150 star light star bright dresses shop bubbly mask 199 you know these are all using the default shop of one of the default free themes this is a hundred bucks designs by saul.com it's not really a bad domain name if that comes with the um you know the the sale i mean i saw some earlier that were under 100 bucks 75 50 bucks this is 90 dollars. let's look at that created five months ago spanking wankers i mean someone thinks they're pretty clever <laughs> you know there's an instagram account with fifty thousand likes and three and a half k followers let's see contact seller i mean this is all really in the the store is beautiful it's pretty well vetted you can see the revenue figure obviously these guys had a good day or a good month and it's pretty much bottomed out from there we can look at let's see let's go to all listings you can also see some of the more expensive ones you can search by revenue. So let's go to the highest revenue first. Five point one five million in revenue. They're asking five hundred thousand dollars. Geekhoodies.com. Good domain name. Lots of revenue. Obviously, this has dropped significantly, as has their traffic. The other thing you have to be very careful when it comes to apparel are margins. I've sold things or had stores on Shopify that the margin of profit is very low and it's actually very easy to lose money and yet still have a significant amount of revenue. $5 million worth of revenue is clearly worth, you know, looking at, you know, in terms of um, it's appealing, it's um, eye-opening, but you don't really know anything until you know their margins. Let's see, but 12 months revenue. This guy is saying, you'll notice most stores are asking one to two times the previous 12 months revenue. They're looking to sell quickly. Again, that sounds fine, but you don't have any idea what their net profit is. If any, they could have lost a million dollars last year equally as uh, likely as making a million dollars. All right, so, and I'm sure they're not making a million dollars. But again, that's a decent price for a five million revenue store, even if it's apparel, which is a low margin business. All right, this is interesting. Pure paddle boards, passion niche, lifestyle niche. Decent Facebook page that's probably, you know, real followers. You know, again, they're bottoming out traffic-wise. So, look, the, the, the point of this isn't to evaluate all these different 
individual domains, just to let you know, there are many different types of sites for sale. There are some really easy ways to amp up the value of a Shopify um, store. I mean, putting a custom domain is great or building a, um, <laughs> I don't know what this is, you know, putting a, a custom theme in conjunction with a dedicated URL, getting some traffic, developing a social media fan base, and essentially putting some content marketing pieces together, having blog articles, that all has value. All right, this is gone. That looked like a adult theme site. Let's look and see if there's anything else we can find that looks interesting. Um, starter stores is always interesting to look at. Some of these you'll find have just been built in the last week or so, which is an interesting approach to launching. You know, you can just basically put this together. This was about two months ago. I have no idea what the theme of this is. It may be pugs. Uh, let's look. Bah, bah, bah. They're using the Oberlo app, which is a great way of importing information really, really quickly. Data feeds, uh, content, products. You know, there are also some downsides to using this app, most notably that, that you're um, pulling your product line from China, typically. And there are some real problems in terms of the fulfillment end of this. 390 bucks. Let's look at the Pugster. Is that, a, is that even a domain that has value? Well, if it's all Pugs, it may be because that's a great niche. People love their dogs and niche specific or breed specific stores are really, um, you know, they're good. So Pug Life, I mean, yeah, I mean, all of this is, yeah, this is cute. I like this. No pain, no gains. That really should say no pain, no pain. If you're talking about a pug life, because I've owned pugs and they are the best. Uh, all right, so there you have it. All right, so we're not going to spend much more time on this, lest I bore the pants off of everybody here. But let us go back really quickly to the exchange. Go back one more time. Look at new listings. See if there's anything that's super duper new. Oftentimes you'll find things that are just like a week old. Passion promos. Good traffic numbers. 10 grand for the store. Good solid social numbers. 56K in revenue. All very interesting. Again, you rarely see stores that have a graph going up when they're for sale. Um, you know, this one, like the other ones, the others that we've seen, is certainly heading in the wrong direction. But all all this is to say that it's very, um, you know, using Shopify is a legit way of building a front-facing e-commerce store on a bootstrap budget. Flipping sites is you know, you can even do a free trial on Shopify and technically flip that site before you even pay for the Shopify service. So there's all kinds of opportunity here for those of you who want to do drop shipping or want to do data feed style stores or who want to just have a really good URL and want to create a good looking uh, site and just put it on the market and see if there's anyone who is interested in buying it. All right, you can list your store here. We're going to end this now, and we're going to talk about some other interesting ways to monetize your Shopify store in the next series of videos. Okay, this is Ian. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks.